guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to be sublimating on beer glass beer uh, mug glass so I actually have done this before um, with the monogram I did the letter M for a gift and I will post a picture up here for you guys so you guys can see that it came out actually really good it was my first time no issues on the sublimation oven I did 400 for 12 minutes so um, for the sublimation oven it's 205 Celsius but 400 for 12 minutes and it came out great as you guys can see so we're gonna do the same with these I actually did another one before um, I, I have already taped all these and I have one already baking just so we can see how it turns out I'm sorry I, I did wrap this uh, I wanted to wrap one with you guys and silly me you did not press the record button so I did all that and <laughs> nothing got recorded so um, so yeah so all I did was, do, you know, when you do these, you have to make sure that you, you know, tape them down really good. I know a lot of people use the sleeves, um, the wrap sleeves or whatever they're called. Um, I, I don't want to use that on this. I've done it. The previous one that I did with the monogram, I didn't use that and it came out great. So I just make sure that it's tight and snug to the glass. So again, I just put one here, one here to begin with when I wrapped it to make sure that my... Um, paper was secure and then I go in ahead and put um, one across the whole thing at the bottom as you can see then I put more here in the middle and I put one here in the middle too and I think that was pretty much it so I did the same with all of them just to make sure that they're all you know snug and good and the papers pressed down on there let me go ahead and get that one out of the oven so here's this one I will set it right here let me close this up and I'm not going to put another one in. We're going to open this one first because I want to make sure that it comes out great with no problems. So that one's then well, well in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys the image I put on there. So this is the image that we did. I'm doing this for somebody because they're giving it to a friend as a birthday gift. I believe his, his uh, birthday is this weekend that they're having. So, um, you know, she wanted something kind of unique. And since he has an actual, he has a Facebook page, so this is the image that he has on there, and this is what they wanted to use for the mugs. So I thought that was a good, you know, pretty neat idea. So we went ahead and we did that, and I actually had tried it, um, done it before, and I used the bigger image. I think that was my problem. That was my fault. It did not sublimate all the way. These mugs are great. Again, I already sublimated before, and they came out good. As you can see, the bottom part is faded. So what I went ahead and did is I just um, made my image smaller, as you can see a lot smaller, and then I, you know, we taped them down. So I think that's the problem. That was the problem that I had. But yeah, this is, so this is the image that we're using. He, um, he does have a Facebook page, so she wanted something kind of to that, so that's what, that's why, you know, we're doing this image. Um, just a shout out to him. He does have like a... I think the Facebook page is called the F-Bomb Garage. So just a shout out if you guys want to go and check him out. There's his Facebook page. And um, I will link his Facebook page down in the description below. So I know he does cars and trucks, I think. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Um, but you guys are more than welcome to go and check out his Facebook page if you're into cars. Or, of course, you know, if you have your um, your husband that, you know, might be interested. But there is, um, there's his info. So, like I said, I will put it down in the description below. And let's see. So, this one is hot. Glass gets very hot, just an FYI. So, be very careful. It's a lot hotter than the tumblers. Um, so, just beware of that. Let me see if we can open this one um, take this one off and see how it comes out so we can put the other ones in. I don't want to put the other ones in until I know for sure that this is going to come out good. And I tried to put the tape where it would be easy, like if I peel one off like this, you know, it, it's not going to interfere with the other one. It's not going to be stuck onto the other one, if that makes sense. <laughs> There it is. It came out really good on this side. This one did have a little bit. It's not too bad, but it did have a little bit of, um, of the fading at the bottom. I just need to make sure it's really tight. 
Um, I don't turn them midway, but maybe I'll try this one um, turned just to make sure. So let's put this one in. And I really hope it does not do that. But it's not too bad. Can't really see it that much. That's just super close up. This one came out super great. Really good. So let's do this one, see how this one comes out. And, um, and I'm gonna turn it midway. Cause it's really snug on there. So I know that's not my issue. But just to be on the safe side, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use these. I just don't want, just on the bottom, the top parts are really actually coming out okay. It's the bottom. So, let me add this because we don't want any mistakes. Can't afford them. And these are really tight. Like, they're, it's hard to put on there. And I will turn it midway at the six minute mark. Okay, I think that should be good. I can't go too high because of the um, because of the handle here. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and put this in the oven for 412 minutes. 400 degrees, 12 minutes. And while that one is in the oven, I wanted to show you guys on my previous video, I did these little things on Canva. So I did these and this is what I plan to put on there. So like for this one, it's still hot. So let me, let me grab it with this. So for this one, as you can see, I'm just gonna stick it in there. So I just put very simple, very easy. If you guys wanna know how I did this, go ahead and um, check out my previous video I'll post the I'll link it right here but this is my little um, insert just to, for them to kind of know how to take care of it I don't do this um, as a business just you know when friends and family ask so I do do them but here it goes this is what it would look like the finished look all right you guys so let me do the other mugs and I will come back and let's pray that they all turn out great all right, so all our mugs are done. Um, I haven't, I took off the little silicone thing from them. This one, ju this one just came out. This one's been out for a while. This is the second one that came out. It came out really good. No problems, no issues. Thank God. <laughs> um, so that one's fine. And then the second one, no, this was the first one that came out. Remember, um, it had a little bit of fading so I cut since I had an extra one I cut it and I put it on and I'm hoping it did good so let's find out I'm gonna go ahead and take this off right now um this one just came out so I'll go this one this one and then this one so we can see how it turned out and hopefully it did good hopefully it worked because I don't I didn't like how I mean it wasn't too bad but I you know I just want to make sure that it's it's you know it's good and I only did it for like five minutes. I didn't leave it the whole time. Okay, it didn't work. I'm assuming it's because we already had sublimated on there. I was hoping it worked. <laughs> um, it's fine. I don't know. I guess because we've already sublimated. Yeah, I didn't even, not even a little bit. Or maybe because, I don't know. I don't know we'll see um and then so this is the other one this is the third one and then this one just came out so this one's still hot so i'm gonna actually just move this one to the side for now and let's open this one this was our third one and it looks good they all look good just that first one wanted to give us some you know wanted to give us a hard time so <laughs> But I think these all came out really good. This one also had some fading. I don't know why. But this side came out good. And I did flip these at the six minute mark. 
um, because I thought maybe that was the thing. It's not too bad. So there's that one and that one. And then our last one, and this one's still hot. Good on that side. Slight, slight fading on this one. Okay, so here is our four mugs. I mean, overall, they did come out good. Um, I don't know what to say as far as why they did not sublimate well. So this set came out good. So this is the best one and this one. So these two came out good. And then these two had issues. That one was the one that. But overall, I mean, they did come out good. I cleaned them. I did prep them and wipe them down and clean them before I take them up. So not sure. But here it is, you guys. Pretty much this is it. This is our little mug. I wanted to show you guys, you know, just how my stand, you know, how it went for me doing these. Again, the very first time I did my first one with the M, with the monogram, it came out perfect. So I'm not sure. Uh, I did everything the same. So I followed the instructions. Um, 205 Celsius for 12 minutes, which is 400 degrees for 12 minutes. But overall, I mean, I'm happy. They're, they're not too bad. They're, they come out good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any ideas, advice, or suggestions down in the comments below. Overall, I am happy with how they turned out. It was easy. Um, it's not hard at all. They're super cute. Great Father's Day gifts. So if you didn't have, you know, anything in mind, this is something maybe you can do also. They have smaller mugs too that you can get but I'm, I'm happy with them and i hope you guys like this and this video was informative for you guys and that's it i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new here to get notified of new videos thanks guys bye